This is a Chucky Beat production. production. So today I'm going to show you guys how I clean my flat irons. As you can see, I already started. You can see that they're still dirty though. I haven't wiped it yet. I didn't want to wipe it. So I want you guys to see how I do it. But um, what I do is I take a little bit of relaxer. And I just rub it over my flat irons. Now you want to be careful doing this with a flat iron that's coated. Because then the relaxer will eat away at the coating. And relaxer is an acid. So yes, this is eating away at the product buildup that's on your flat iron. Whether it's burnt on hair. And don't worry about getting in the creases. I'll show you guys how I you know, get it out of the creases of my flat iron. I haven't tried this with a cheap commercial flat iron yet, but I do this with my professional flat irons and I've been doing it for a while. So, and I've never had an issue. And no, this will not affect your hair if you're natural. It will not relax your hair. So you wanna make sure you get the relaxer on there really, really well. And you wanna let it sit. You let it sit for about maybe like 10 minutes, five, 10 minutes. And again, I do not recommend doing this with a coated flat iron. And I'll link the video um, so you guys will know. I mean, so you guys can watch my video on the different types of flat irons. So remember I told you I had this one for a while, so it's not gonna take me 10 minutes. But you just wanna get like a rag, a towel or something, and you just wanna wipe. You see that little spot that was there, how it just came off easily? You just wanna wipe. You wanna wipe it off. This is a double-sided flat iron, so yes, I'm wiping the back as well. And I'll link this flat iron as well, just in case you're looking for a good flat iron. And now this is when you go on the inside. You see how it's just wiping it off? I hope you guys can see this, see? See how it's just wiping it off? It's wiping all of that product buildup and cheap hair off. Look at that. See? You see that? Product buildup right there. Now watch this. It's gone. Some left there. And you just use a little pressure to wipe it off. Now I put my flat irons down. I know this is kind of dangerous, but I got it. <laughs> You just want to wet your rag and just use the same rag it ain't no sense of you dirtying up another rag but yeah just wipe it off like so and sometimes yes you do have to use your nail to kind of get into the creases a little bit and you want to get into the creases. You want to try to get that off as much as possible. Because when you're curling with your flat iron, if the sides are dirty, then you're not going to get a clean curl. You're not going to get even heat distribution. So there you have it. Now I'm going to show you how to get the, um, how to get the relaxer out of the creases. Okay, so I just plugged in my flat irons and I'm turning them on and I'm turning the heat up. And what this will do is if there's any relaxer in the creases and crevices, it'll melt it out. So you don't have to worry about relaxer being stuck in the flat iron. And when you go to flat iron someone here, they get relaxer on their hair. So um, it'll start smoking in a minute if there's, as if there's any in there. See, it's smoking. So that's the relaxer burning out of the flat iron. So I guess it's not enough for it to leak. But if it was enough for it to leak, I just burnt my finger, but hey, it happens. If it was enough to leak, you would see it leaking from here. And you would just get your towel or your rag like this 
and you would just wipe the relaxer off so I'm gonna go ahead and let this go until it stops smoking but I didn't get any relaxer in there like that so I guess we're good to go and of course if you're iffy about using this method you can just get a little bit of neutralizer and put it on your on your rag when you wet you know the the rag to take the relaxer off after you wet the rag and you wipe the relaxer off you can just put a little bit of neutralizer on it and wipe it over it and then wet it again not in the same place of course because then you'll get suds and then you could just wipe it off so you won't have to worry about having relaxer on your flat irons but like i said i've been doing this for years and no it does not chemically alter the texture of your hair um it's just a way to clean your flat irons so that's it so now i have clean flat irons it's still smoking a little bit so i'm just gonna let it smoke you know keep going until it there's no more smoke coming out of it but now i have a clean set of flat irons <laughs> 